Hello, I am Sibylla Lenz, and I am a feng shui author, speaker, and teacher of feng shui. And one of the things that I've encountered in working with a lot of people is in teaching the different types of feng shui. There is form school feng shui, BTB feng shui, and flying star feng shui. To name just a few, I thought the best way I learn is by seeing and an example. And so what I've done today is to give you an example of a property. This is a new property, purchase property. And what we did is we did flying star on this property because this property about 14 years ago was damaged where the roof was completely removed of the property. And in flying star feng shui, that takes into account the time of the property, the time the building was put on the property and the energies that were present at that time. And when you have a situation happen where there was a disaster or a complete removal of a roof, that will change the age or the nature of the property. So the mission behind this was in understanding what would be the best use of chi moving through the property. Also, the people and occupants of the property were interested in what is the area that would promote our wealth and what is the area that would promote our health and our fame, etc. So today we're gonna to focus on how to set up a wealth area in the property and where the wealth area showed up. And right now we're standing in the dining room of the property and this is where the natural wealth area is based on flying star feng shui. And right now we have a great empty pallet, which is perfect. And the walls are painted a beautiful color yellow, which is an earth color and it is a predominant earth element. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can set up in a very simple way an area that will help promote and increase the energy for the wealth aspect. Maybe we should put a little more water. Initially, let's have it show open and then we'll tie them back. In Flying Star Feng Shui, which is a little different than BTB Feng Shui, BTB means that you set up the template from your front door of your house. Flying Star, we don't set up the template from the front door of the house. We use actual compass directions. So in doing the actual compass directions on this house, we found that the southeast direction or wealth area is right here in this corner. One of the ways to set up and have a wealth aspiration be generated and more chi and energy around that is from the non-physical standpoint, you've already paid attention to that with intention and we found it with the compass that we don't really see it, but we know it's here. This is comprised of wood energy. Wood energy is the green leafy plants. So we're bringing in plants and anywhere that you can bring in from three to six to nine plants in an area, you're really raising the chi and the energy and the growing energy of wood. So you always want to have plants and wood in a wealth area because it's growing energy. So we want to grow our wealth. Mm -hmm. um, adding a little bit of red, adding a fire element here is also very good, you know, for raising the chi. Also having water because water feeds plants, feeds mm -hmm. growth. Water's feeding the money, energy mm -hmm. of it. And what do these two things mean to you? They, when you look at those, do you get a feeling of that makes you think wealth and yeah, it does. And really the purpose that I got them was I was hoping to use those as a vessel to throw our extra change and, and things in to, as like a That's collection. why this made a yeah, sound. When yeah, that's it right. Lifted I it. started yeah. already. So that's perfect. So what happens is you and your husband or partner comes in and both of you will be adding money to this all the time. So you're actually feeding the energy of the wealth area. The metal element that's here in the center one of the things that I did for that was in this specific area based on flying star feng shui is it calls for metal cures. So this is nice because it has a metallic finish as both of these do and having the metal uh, chime in, in this area will help reduce some negative producing energy. Hmm. So flying star is more of a complex system of feng shui but I wanted to be able to show with your help how you can have an uh, area that helps support and produce that, but it doesn't take a lot of extra things and you don't have to have all the items be basically Asian type items. Another thing that um, you might notice too is over here we have a little wealth ship or a ship coming in and you always have your ships when, when you set up in Flying Star Feng Shui or BTB Feng Shui, you will have coins or ships or things like that. 
you want it facing in so that it kind of gives off that feeling of my, my ship is coming in. Mm -hmm. And that's used as a cure in some of the feng shui traditions. So we put a little ship over here facing in to increase and boost your wealth energy. Awesome. And your doorway over here, the doorway going outside and the doorway coming in is also a wealth door, considered to be a wealth door. So we hung nine coins hanging from the door handle. You don't have to hang them from the door handle, but having those hanging from the door handle, again, is raising the energy for wealth. The outside of the door, I love the color you picked. It is a color that looks like the red leaf maples. And so again, that's higher energy producing. So that's also a good wealth generator for the outside of the property and the energy coming in too. Oh, good. Yeah, well, so. I love everything, the way it came out. It looks so nice and I wasn't expecting how it would be once um, once we got all the elements together. So I'm really happy and, and um, looking forward to what the new chi brings to me. Right. Well, here's another example too. If you look at this, we brought in a, a flower display um, with a local florist and I had her do a piece that's uh, called Ikebana. And what this is, is this is also uh, a bit of a generator for in here. This has a, fi uh, a fire touch by the shapes of the bamboo, but also with the water and the plants and the growing energy, that's just really good to have living good chi in your dining room area. So she did a beautiful job of, of creating the points and also bringing good living chi in with it as well. So I think you have a, an area that's very conducive to growing wealth. And at night, if you want to contain the chi in this room because you have a lot of fast moving chi here, mm -hmm. you might want to pull your drapes down or even having a heavier drape at some point just to close the chi in because that will help contain chi too. Okay, all right, thank okay. you. So we've just finished talking about the wealth area inside of the property and one of the most neglected areas for the wealth area sometimes with people is outside the property. So we came out the dining room door, which was in the dining room that we just staged and set up the wealth area, and that is the door, which is the wealth door. When we come down off of the porch, you will notice on each side, you have beautiful red natural fire bushes here. Again, generating higher amounts of energy. And the other thing I wanted you to notice is there's a lake that you see right outside the property, which brings constant, good, nourishing chi to the whole building here, to the whole house. So that also, these occupants are very lucky to have just natural wealth generators and having a big body of water with chi coming into this area. In order to set up your own wealth area in your home, take a look at Welcome Home, That's My Book, which will give you some additional simple and usable ideas on how to set up different spots in your home to generate wealth or increase prosperity and abundance in your life. Visit PositiveLivingFengShui.com and we look forward to seeing you there.